Hi everyone, here I am. So I just have been taking a little break. There hasn't really been much going on. Um, it's just been so hot, triple digits for the last two weeks. All next week, this week and next week, triple digits. It was all last week was triple digits. It's just been so hot. And actually right now it is cloudy and I heard a thunder. I heard a thunder, which is nice. Um, so, and then, I don't know what's going on, but a few days ago, about five days ago, I, well, all month long, I've had horrendous allergies, like hay fever, just blowing my weight in snot, in a Kleenex, you know, and just every day sneezing and blowing my nose all day, every day, take allergy pills. And then a few, last week I woke up and I had this feeling like maybe I have vertigo, but I don't have vertigo because I've had vertigo and I'm not spinning, I'm not dizzy, I'm not stumbling around, but I just have that horrendous pressure that comes with vertigo, kind of like a headache, a pressure headache, and then ringing in my right ear, tinnitus maybe. Um, and it's been awful. And I, I looked it up on Google <laughs> because Google knows everything, right? So I looked it up on Google and yes, you can get tinnitus from allergies you can get vertigo from allergies and so I'm wondering if that's what I have and so every other day it's been different like the first day it was awful the second day it was so so the third day it was great the fourth day it was awful today I think might be the fifth day and it's awful and I'm just you know I I am taking a Sudafed and today has been the very first day that I haven't had any congestion or runny nose or anything. But I took a decongestant and it also said sedatives are good. And I do have lorazepam and so I've, I've been taking, I took a Sudafed and a lorazepam. That helps a lot, but today it's just extra bad. And it's awful, I hate it. And so I'm gonna have to make an appointment with the doctor. But do I go to my normal doctor or do I go to a ENT? Do I go to an allergist? I don't know what to do. And plus I need to find out who's covered on my insurance, la di da. So that's what I've been dealing with for the last week and um, I just haven't wanted to vlog at all. I've just been laying down. Um, but few of you have been checking on me and thank you so much you guys are so sweet to check on me you're just wondering if I'm okay and where I'm at well I'm doing fairly well and I'm just in the house piddle farting around so anyway that's the deal um, I'm gonna be making some salad dressing tonight I want to have like a chicken salad like a grilled chicken salad pasta mixed all together with um, some sweet vinaigrette dressing that I like to make. I don't have any avocados for it, which is always nice. Um, I do have some Swiss cheese that I can grate into it, but it just sounds really good. And so I'm about to prepare the dressing so it can sit in the fridge for a while and get the flavors married up. Um, so it's just, white vinegar, sugar, vegetable oil, salt, ground mustard. Um, if you have poppy seeds, go ahead and put that in. I don't. And then some dry mustard, powdered mustard. And I'm sure if you don't have powdered mustard, I'm sure regular mustard, the squirty kind would be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that and I'll put the recipe down below. It is just so, so good. I love it. I always um, 
do mine in half because it makes a lot of dressing and I certainly can't eat the whole amount. So I just make a half, half the recipe and it's fine. So that's what I'm gonna start doing. Oh, did I say it also calls for purple onion? And I actually have purple onion. So let's get this show on the road, shall we? I just cut up some purple onion. It calls for grated purple onion, but grating an onion is so messy and juice flies everywhere. And I don't know, it's just easier to just cut it into super small, skinny little pieces and then put it in your dressing. It all falls down to the bottom anyway, but it's just there for flavor and it gives really good flavor. So that's what I did. And check this out. I have one of these. Um, I got this so many years ago. I don't even know. And it comes with that to go in it. And this little thing, I don't even know if you can get these anymore, but this is so fun. I love this thing. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and put this in first. So it calls for three fourths cup of sugar. I just take one of these and just fill it halfway. And this is a Tupperware container and these are Tupperware scoops. Had them for years. Okay, so I can see it's filled right to here. It's about halfway, maybe just a tiny bit more. Okay, there's half. One, a three quarter teaspoon of dry mustard. And then a little bit more. for a cup of oil, so I'm going to do a half. One and a half teaspoons of salt. And then you just shake it all together. Make sure this is tight. So it's 1.45 right now. Dinner won't be until like 6 or 6.30. So it'll be good by the time we have dinner. And then I just like to taste the little part here. Mm -hmm. It's good, it's good, it's good. We're in the car, you guys. I'm vlogging in the car. <laughs> I don't know how well it's gonna go and you're kind of bouncy, but we'll see. Oh, you're really bouncy. I'm not gonna be able to do this. There's just no way I can vlog in this car. And I can't use one of the mirror things because I have all these buttons right here and the claw will like hit the buttons. So I don't know. Plus you're so far back on my dashboard that I, I can't reach you if you're about to fall. So anyway, I guess I'll just take you down because I don't think this is going to work out. I tried. All right, we're here at the Walmart and I'm buying this shampoo. 
from Dove. It's the length one. It smells freaking amazing. But I'm concerned because they used to have, they're supposed to have a seal on them. The conditioners have a seal. The shampoos are supposed to have a seal. There were only three shampoos and none of them had a seal on them. So I'm assuming people take them off so they can smell. But it just makes me nervous. Like what if somebody put Nair or something in there and all my hair is going to fall out. But I don't think so. They have some really nice backpacks. Got Reebok, Eastport, Swiss Tech. And this really pretty Madden NYC. I don't know, is that like part of Steve Madden? I don't know. Kind of fun. This is really nice. Wow. These are super cute and they're squishy really pretty. All right, we're out of Walmart and I have, I found a little place to stick you right down here by my gear shift. <laughs> so you get the best angle of my stretchy neck ever. Um, but better than nothing. And I can totally hold on to you so you don't fall over. Um, my back is killing me. Oh, it is so hot out here. It's 95. When I got in the car, it said 104. But that's, you know, because I was sitting out in the sun. But um, today's one of the cooler days. It's the rest of the week. I think tomorrow might be like 98. And then the rest of the week is 100, 102, 100, 101. Ugh. Last week it got up, I think, to 107. I was like really but I, I'll take it I there's been so much bad weather all around the nation I will take a hot day any day It's the next day everybody and of course I didn't feel good today I just have that terrible headache from allergies again I woke up with allergies this morning um, but it's dinner time now I am still in my pajamas shocker but I am gonna eat that salad we never ate it last night um, we're gonna eat it tonight so I have some bow tie pasta boiling here I've got my chicken in the George Foreman. We have to use the George Foreman because we ran out of propane on the barbecue grill. I have the salad here. I cooked up some bacon. I shredded some Swiss cheese and there's also some cranberries going in. And of course I have my sweet vinaigrette dressing that I made yesterday which is right here and it is tasty now that it 
married the flavors for a whole day. It's so good. I cannot wait for dinner to get ready. I'm starving. It's sizzling away. Check this bad boy out. This is the strainer spoon I got from Timu. I'm gonna use it to strain my pasta. <laughs> that was gonna happen. All right, it's just best to hold the pot with one hand and hold the spoon with one hand. So anyway, this is one cup of bow tie pasta. It was a cup dry and um, they puffed up to be this big and they're just the great value kind. So I'm just gonna let them cool off for a bit. I'd say my chicken is finished. I flipped it a couple times. It's a nice big one, so we're just gonna split it in half and then I'll chop it up into little pieces. But that looks really good. And I just seasoned it with onion powder and nature seasonings. I cooked this perfectly. Daryl wants this. He likes the skinny girl. I'm gonna have my own. And he wants his pasta on the side, not in his salad. <laughs> okay, here's his salad and noodles on the side. He didn't want craisins. And then here's my big ol' salad. I like mine in big salad bowls. This one's from Dollar Tree. And this dressing goes a long way, so I'm just gonna put a little bit in. But I've got the Swiss cheese, the bacon, the craisins, the chicken. Let's try this with a noodle and some chicken. Mm. It's really good. It's amazing. So I think mini bow tie pasta salad would have been better, but I didn't find any, but that's okay. It's all good.